Hello, hello, hello. I'm Alucard Night Raven. Welcome to my channel, and welcome to my next retro review. Today, I'm looking at Transformer Cybertron Wing Saber. And this is a really great figure. Uh, again, um, sort of a supersonic kind of jet. Um, I do have like some uh, missing paint on him, unfortunately. Um, but you know what happens with some toys that age can sometimes uh, not be um, as easily noticeable. But what's cool with this figure is he also combines with Optimus Prime. So we will get to that. I'm going to go to from the jet to the robot mode and then we'll do the combined mode. And you'll have to bear with me because I don't fully remember the combined mode. So um, it, it may take me a bit. But let's get in looking at Wing Saber. So first, you can see where I'm missing some of the paint. It's unfortunate. Um, I, I'm not sure what I can do to fix that. But you can see how good this is all looking. The issue that I always seem to have is like these do not um, always stay in easily. So I don't know if like I need to take some some polish and like maybe thicken those up. I'm not sure, but yeah. So here it is from the side. Here it is from the top, and it's got quite a bit of uh, dust gunk on it. <laughs> Here it is from the back, and of course, here it is from the bottom. And yeah, so the wheels, it does roll really very well. So definitely works well with on there. Whoops. And sometimes that happens. yeah great white paint some brown along in here too with this red that helps uh, lock it up got some really nice uh, missiles here and uh, in here and of course these ones that actually do fire <laughs> and they fire very well <laughs> plug that back in whoops yeah and these parts move so like uh, just like uh, the like on real wings to help it uh, steer in the air and love the chrome and you need to clean up that chrome a bit though so very nice I said I, I all these figures I just absolutely love um, the cockpit has a very nice shiny uh, metallic uh, type of paint looks very good you can see there's a scratch right there but and just like with uh, because it's the um, Cybertron trilogy you know we started with Armada we've got mini con ports in a couple of places so yeah now his cyber key which I usually go over first and I did not do that this time but he's got the uh, typical cyber key with the autobot symbol translucent clear love that that paint looks really good and there is our code and what his does and this one does generally like make noise but again dead batteries and i do remember my promise i have not forgotten that after at the end of all my cybertron reviews i will uh, replace the batteries in every single one and I will do a video going over all the electronic noises I have not forgotten that I'm still going to do that I made that promise and it will happen so what we do is we plug it in here and voila and it would generally make noise I think there's yeah there's even a light that would light up but that is 
his weapon and you can do it in vehicle mode however it is more meant for um robot mode and combined mode with optimus so yeah that is it for that and i'm trying to remember everything that's come on there we go there we go sorry there's there's swords and like um or these pieces come out and make swords the chrome pieces so sometimes the it doesn't want to stay in but let's get down to robot mode so first thing we'll do is we will fold up this and it just stays right in there and let's see untab here and that's hmm. it's supposed to stay but all right so we'll fold that up like that and then we're gonna untab these bring them sort of we're we'll going we're gonna move those out of the way so as we untab these we want to kind of bring this down like this this is gonna fold up like this this tail piece this we're gonna it's supposed to slide I know that oh no it doesn't slide here's Here's where the issue is, so I'm gonna do it just like this. And it just sort of sits like that. Now what we do, bring down the legs. We're gonna kinda, this is where I always have the issue. There we go. Then we're gonna all right, move this. Then we're gonna want to kind of rotate it. Then we can bring it back, just like that. We can bring this back in. Close these back up. Now we can finish off the legs. So we want to take these, bring them down, and bring them down just like that so open it up and then they just slide down and a small click and then they sort of go over the knees just like that and it becomes the knees we'll rotate them down and then bring the feet forward and there's the feet all done and then I'm gonna bring up the head until it clicks and the final bit that we do is we unlock the arms from the wing forgive me if I'm having issues here some parts do seem to be loose but then bring this all the way down and then there's a little switch right here and we want to slide that back and that's going to give us sort of a, more of a hand style so same thing here untab from the wing untab the hand and the arm sort of maneuver everything slide that back and voila and here we have wing saver in his robot mode and i am having a hard time here getting him to stand up there we go nope <laughs> sometimes he just i wonder if that's gonna work better All right. So 
there is Wing Saber. And again, I'm having that issue with those wings in his robot mode. And he looks pretty good. I like it. Now, the, the sword thing is uh, not for him. The way his hands are, he can't hold them. They're more for the combined mode with Optimus. And I'll get into that when I show off the combined mode. But let's take a good look at him. So we're going to raise you up. Take a good look at that head. And this is definitely the uh, Takara version. This I think I got this one out of that two-pack with Optimus. You can see I've got some of this chrome rubbed off, which is a bummer. Um, that had the Kobe bot. Um, and the biggest reason like I like this one better than the Hasbro version is like the Hasbro version, instead of having where it ended there, it painted like the whole tip. It just didn't look right. The way the wings were painted were different, just didn't look right. Some of the other paint was completely off. Again, to me, it didn't look right. And on mine, that little piece going across on his face was way off. But let's take a look at this head. There we go. So nice head. I love how it's kind of like this mask type with the, the strip going across. That sort of uh, gunmetal gray, the white, the gold on his face, the green on his eyes look good. Got the chrome and the gold chrome. The red chrome for the Autobot symbol, which, uh, like I said, you can see some has uh, rubbed off, which is unfortunate. Hopefully it doesn't get too bad. Hopefully I can maybe find someone who's uh, really good at uh, restoring things like that and helping me out with that. But, um, yeah. Got the yellow along here. More of this white, the red and brown on his legs, and then the red and the gray and white for his feet. Looks good. Uh, articulation, head, just moves in a full 360. It doesn't move up or down. Arms, only come out like that. Um, however, you can bring him in like that and that. Um, it just doesn't work too well. Do have a bicep swivel, so that's nice. Double jointed elbow simply because of transformation. And nothing really for his hand other than, you know, bringing all this in and out. Um, he does have waist rotation. It's a little limited. He can kick forward. That far just doesn't hold up. Kick back that far and you get everything out of the way you can do over the full van dam we do have thigh rotation we have 90 on the knee and the feet just go back and forth and of course the other thing is his weapon so you bring this up bring this up like this and you sort of set it on there and this is actually also more for um the combined mode but put it like that and then of course you put in the key open it up and yeah it does all of that <laughs> so definitely a good figure um it is a little, quite a bit limited, unfortunately, on um, what it can do with uh, its articulation. This is another figure that I would absolutely love to see um, Hasbro and Takara like uh, do something in the Legends line with. Legends line with. I just think that would be uh, so much better. Or I think they could do, you know. I just, I would just love to see a lot more Cybertron figures, or that's what I'm hoping for. But now we're going to get into combined mode. So first thing we're going to do, pop the head down. We are going to, and I got to remember how these come out. 
Whoops. Okay. Don't want to take off the whole thing. Okay. There we go. Do not want to take off the whole wing. So we're going to straighten this out. Raise these up. Again, push these out. Raise this up. And I'll pop these pieces off again. This piece off again. And I'll raise this up. And we are also... So we're going to open this and extend it all out like this. And then... going to rotate, bring them back in, plug it in like that, bring all this in, attach them, same thing here, same thing here. Attach them. Then we're just gonna then want to bring these out all the way, just like that. And we also are going to remove these. And we're gonna set all this off to the side, just for the moment. Oh, and also we want to pull these out. And again. And what we do with these, we just plug them in like that on both of them. Oh, make sure that we don't get stuck. Now, we'll bring in Optimus. And the first thing we're going to do with Optimus, and hold on, okay, he's not going to stand straight. <laughs> That backpack is so heavy on him. So what we're going to do with Optimus is we're going to take off the backpack. So, And that's going to just go off to the side and stay off. And we want to bring these up. Bring these up. And then these attach here on his legs. So there's one. And here's two. Again, whoops. <laughs> Come on, get on there. There we go. So there's two. Let me plug that back in. And now we bring in Wing Saber. And this is going to plug in right here, just like this. And then this is going to come down, and it's going to lay over. And then we pop it open, just like that. And these come down over the shoulders. We kind of want them, I think, like this. There's those, and then now we bring this up, and this sits just like this. All right, I think we got it. And here we have Optimus and Wing Saber in Sonic Wing mode. And like I said, we give Optimus these and they plug in I want to see what I'm doing so there's this small post that's going to plug in to that right there we want to get it in there and there we go same thing on this side And voila, they are combined. And I'm trying to get everything into the picture here. So there we go. 
and I hope you can see all that clearly. <laughs> and of course, we can do the cyber key. And voila. <laughs> so yeah, there is that. So give me a second. I'll come back with Wing Saber in his robot mode and finish off my review. All right. And there we go. Wing Saber back in his robot mode. And of course, that issue I'm having of getting him to stand. <laughs> it's... Some things are just so weak on these older figures that there isn't really a whole lot you can do, is there? So, but, all right, that's going to be the best I can do, I think. <laughs> Come on. Come on, man. <laughs> what are you doing? Stand straight. All right. <laughs> Fine. Stand like that. <laughs> but, uh. Not too bad of a figure, despite its limitations. Re again, really love the look of the vehicle mode, or the jet mode, and of the uh, robot mode. You know, uh, as usual, that's been with Cybertron. It's something unique. It's something that we hadn't seen before, and honestly, we haven't really seen since. Yes, the engineering has gone leaps and bounds since then, which is why, it, with Legacy, I would love to see... I'm hoping we get more Cybertron characters back because I want to see these characters with updated engineering. I just I think that would be so so amazing and I just would love to add them to the collection. So So here's hoping. I mean, I know we're already getting um Cybertron Metroplex, so that's going to be uh nice to have that with updated engineering. So we'll see what they do um because it looks like we're getting armada starscream as well in the legacy line so let's see what happens hopefully 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 <laughs> but uh that is going to be it for me i hope you uh enjoyed this video um we're we're getting close to nearing the end of uh my cybertron collection still got a number of weeks left but you know Got, gone through a lot and i hope you uh hope you guys are looking forward to the rest i am so happy that you guys have been enjoying these uh retro reviews of the cybertron line as well as my other reviews i am so happy to have you guys following me and looking forward to uh seeing what the year brings with legacy and uh what else i come up with for uh retro reviews so yeah that is going to be it for me Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all later.